guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Amanda Show. That is not my name. My channel is called The Amanda Show. I'm Amanda. Thank you for coming to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys one of the worst decisions I ever did in my entire life. Like trying to stand up for myself and it just went so, 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 Okay? So, this couple of years back, you know, not too long ago. Let me, it's not more than five, but not less than two years back. So somewhere between there. So, I had a friend who lived in a town, right? And I had a friend who didn't live too far from where I stayed. But then in this town, everything is close together because it's a very small mining town. So, I had a friend. And then I went to sleep over her house for the, for the night, right? And since her parents were not in town, you know, we, her, the maid was there, the maid, the, the helper was there. So we are like, hey, freedom, you know, you know when you've never tasted freedom, you've never been outside at night. So we are like, what we gonna do? We're not party girls, we're not drinking girls, we're not alcohol, we're not drugs, none of that. We're good girls, but we're like, we've never been outside at night. So how are they gonna do? What we gonna do? We are home alone. So we decide to leave the house. Ah, uh, we decide to leave the house and walk. This is, how many, oh, I think we're three. Yeah, because my, it was my friend whose house we were at, me, and another friend of mine who came to also sleep at the house. So we're having like a sleepover thing. So we decided to walk out of the house and go to a like, um, a gym center. Like, I can't say it's a gym, but it's like, you know those golf club type of things. I don't know if you guys know a golf club. I'll put a picture here, but there's like golfing and pools and things and gyms and all that. So we decided to go to one of those. And that was like a 15 minute walk from her house. So, and it's late. It's like 11ish, 12ish at night. So we're like, yeah, hmm, let's go. It's going to stop us. There's nothing better to do. The help us sleeping. Let us go. So we decide to leave. We walk, we walk, we go. We go to that golf club. We see people. We're like, oh, old friend, you're at the gym. What's up? Join us. Let's go. So we recruit two other guys and we carry on walking. And then we walk it walk back to town. So it's her house, town, the golf club. So we walk to the golf club. It's boring. There's nothing there. It's dry. So we turn around from the golf club and walk back to town. And we just sit in this other sitting area. There's like lots of seating areas in town. There's no more in the place. Like a it's a big town. Open thing, open things like China shops, banks, Mr. Prices, open things, you know. So then we're sitting there, we're just chilling and talking. At this point, it's five, five of us? Three plus two guys, yeah, five of us. <laughs> so we're just sitting there, and then these two other guys come walking, and they obviously drunk. We can see that they're drunk, but they I don't know what kicks into me. So this guy passes and he goes, Hey, beautiful ladies. And I don't know, I forgot exactly what we said at that point. And then I think he felt insulted or whatever that we didn't want to like hang out with them or whatever. And then he started, um, you know how guys be like, so can I have your number? No, Mwah, you're never pretty anyway. Mwah, I never wanted you anyway. Mwah. Hey man, what's your business, man? What's your business? Mwah, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? So that guy said similar things to that, even though I don't ex remember the exact words, but he said similar things to that. And in my mind just went, this, this guy just disrespected my name. You don't know nothing, man. You know what you are? EP, aka Enemy of Progress. Who you think you are, just because we don't want to hang out with you, don't mean you have the right, right, to start calling us names. This nigga turns around with his friend. I thought I was speaking and he couldn't hear me. That nigga heard everything I said. I was, I was swearing at him. I'm like, who the hell do you think you are? You don't know us. You don't have a right to call us us. You don't have a right to call us us. This nigga turns around and I'm like, At this point, I'm scared as shit. But just because you turn around, I'm more confident. I'm like, what are you staring at? What are you staring at? Are you coming back to me? What you want from me? Now everybody around me is going, girl, calm down, hell down. We don't know these people. And then the nigga goes, hey, are you talking to me? I'm like, dude, were you not talking to us when you say those disrespectful things? Nigga pulls out a, a knife. Nigga pulls out a knife. Wool up, nigga. Wool up, wool up, wool up. Just wool up. And then I'm scared. I don't know what you what are you what you gonna do? What you gonna do with Anna? What you gonna do with Anna? What you gonna do? You gonna attack me with Anna? You gonna attack 
inside my heart is like, oh Lord Jesus, I will never come outside at night ever again if you save me from this situation. Get out of here right now. <laughs> never again, I'm done. It's the last time. So then the two guy friends were with her, not pulling me back. They're like, no, they're telling him, no, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Forgive her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And they're pulling me back at this point. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, forgive her. Go away, you guys. We should just walk away. Forget about this. Blah, blah, blah. At this point, I'm like, no, no, let him come. Let him come. I want to see what he's going to do. Let him come. Let him come. And they're like, oh, man, these guys holding a knife. You have nothing. He's going to beat you. He's going to stab you. And I'm just like, Ish. yeah, man, let me sh humble, chill myself out. So I, I just like lay back and the guy's like, yeah, I forgive her, whatever, whatever. And then he's walking away. And then he goes, um, you better teach her a lesson not to talk back, you know? And then I'm just like, you know what? Because Jesus saved my life, I'll save your life, inshallah. And I looked away and then they walked away. But anyway, guys, we ended up that day going back home because I was scared of shit. So we ended up going back home because we didn't want to die. And clearly at that point, I was unpredictable as to what I was going to do. But yeah, that's it. That day I almost died, it ain't as dramatic as I made it seem in the beginning, but I almost died that day because I was trying to stand out for myself. So, I know they say stand out for yourself, but like situations, you know, situations, you know. Maybe just don't go out at night. Don't go outside at night. Stay in the house. Stay where your parents left you. Stay where your parents think you are because, hey, things can happen. Because what are we going to tell our parents? Eh, I was in the toilet and this boy jumped in and stabbed me. Hmm? Hmm? Is that what we're going to tell them? I was gonna say, uh, we decided to sneak out of the house and uh, go to just walk around town at night, midnight, it's late. And this guy decided to step me because I decided to talk back. Hmm, hmm. Think about that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you guys again next week. Subscription down below. Turn on the notification bell as well just to see when I upload videos because I'm trying to be consistent, but like, I'm gonna be uploading random vlogs too, you know, because yeah.